So Joshua Fernandez sent me a message about an old video I made where I used electrolysis to remove rust from individual parts. And his question is about using the same process to de-rust a bulk handful of parts or a bunch of nuts and bolts all at one time. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to have a larger container with my electrolyte solution and it's going to have the same setup with anodes and cathodes going to my power supply but instead of hooking the power line directly to one piece I'm going to make a steel basket that I can dump a bunch of parts in and they can all be de-rested at one time. So I'm going to use this plastic bucket as my container and this little bucket's about the right size to hold all the parts so I'm going to use it as a form to mold a steel mesh bucket. When I form the mesh around this little bucket, I'm going to use standard assembly wire to secure it. Make sure you twist the wire and secure it tightly. Now I have my steel mesh basket that I can dump all the parts in at one time for de-rusting. It'll conduct the electricity for the electrolysis process and allow the electrolyte to flow freely when I have this placed in my bucket. So for this setup, the entire basket and all the parts is the anode. And for the cathode, I'm going to use a couple of these old wrenches. And that way, the rust electrons can flow from the anode to the cathode. So I've got these secured with some electrical grade assembly tape. And I have one on each side. And that way, the rust can flow in both directions. And hopefully, that'll speed up the process. Now I just need to wire this up. Okay, I have this all wired up. Now remember, the blue is hot and the green is power. And I'm not going to hook the hot wire up to the power supply until I have the electrolytic solution poured in and this thing ready to de-rust. The base for my electrolyte solution is just regular water. And you want to make sure that all the parts and the basket is completely submerged. So I'll be using regular sodium carbonate that you can buy pretty much anywhere for my electrolytic solution. And this stuff is very dangerous, so make sure you wear safety glasses, use a respirator, a full face shield, and safety gloves. And use two sporks per liter of water. and make sure to blend it thoroughly. So from that old video's comments, Leon from the Azores pointed out that sodium carbonate's not available where he lives. So you can take regular sodium bicarbonate that's available pretty much everywhere and easily convert it into sodium carbonate. And I'm going to show you how. So just take some regular sodium bicarbonate, which is baking soda, and sprinkle it into one of your wife's baking sheets. Then just bake it for three hours at 148 degrees Celsius. Now the regular sodium bicarbonate has been converted to sodium carbonate by the baking process. Badass. And with everything ready to go, it's time to hook up the power supply and make sure you always use voltage grade assembly tape. With the power hooked up, you can already see this electrolysis process start. There's a lot of bubbling and the electricity is flowing from the bolts and the rust over to the wrenches and it's starting to remove rust. So I will come back in a few hours and check progress. And look at all that rust floating around there and you can really see how it's collected on the wrenches that I used as cathodes. The rust is starting to come off but I'm going to let this go another 8 to 12 hours. Got the power off and these things, oh check that out, are ready to come out. Just need to dry them off. 
And always make sure you do this electrolysis stuff in a very well ventilated area. So most of these look really good. Check out that muffler hanger. It looks brand new. Some of the parts look really good and some still have some like rust pits. I don't know if that will ever come out. Maybe I'll try to give that more time. Check out that Whitworth nut. It's off an old uh, pre-unit Triumph. So bulk de-rusting of old parts and bolts is so badass, I'm giving it 5 out of 5 Ichiban Moto stickers. Subscribe for future Ichiban Moto videos. It's also badass if you like them and share them with your friends. Josh gets stickers too for sending me the question in that resulted in this new video.